Imam Muhammad was a, a principal of the school. He was the imam. He uh, taught Friday prayers. You would see him with his sleeves rolled up in the That's kitchen, right. Right. Uh, cutting meat and cooking. You see him out back uh, barbecuing, yeah. and you'll see him uh, at teachers' meetings, uh, speaking to the teachers and instructing the imams and all of that. He was very hands-on. So for those of us that feel that, uh, you know, that loss or that emptiness uh, because we don't have Imam Muhammad present here, but you can just look at the good imams, like Imam Yusuf Ramadan here, and other imams that are doing the same thing, like Imam uh, Abdul Karim Muhammad in your area, and, uh, and see the work that they're doing, and you see Imam Muhammad. They've been following him, they've been following him, his example, and the students, uh, the students, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful uh, to see the spirit. Uh, Imam, I mean, Brother Hassan, I saw his son, and I heard him talking, and I always thought of myself as being a little different, because my friends would, would talk about sports, basketball, this and that. And I want to talk about nature, because, my, you know, growing up with my father, we, we were studying everything, because he didn't allow you to have an idle mind. If, uh, if there was something to say in his presence, and he had something to say in, in, in your presence, I guarantee you that your mind was busy, real, real busy. Uh, when he spoke to you, and after, he, after you left. So you couldn't have, you couldn't have a... Uh, the mind that a lot of the youth have that's just relaxed and want to have fun and, and just uh, trusting the world to show them that path. Uh, and uh, Imam Muhammad was telling us about, uh, there's a, a chapter in the Quran uh, about the bee. And he was telling us about how uh, over 1400 years ago the Quran was revealed and, and uh, and told us the story that now science is just recently catching up to, telling us how the, you can look at a bee and it can show you exact, it can, it, it can draw a map. And it, it's much like we are. Uh, okay. Yeah. The, the bee is honey. It, it, it works for honey. And we work for uh, money, you know, capital gain, uh, some investment. And he, he spoke about how to be goes to the flower and it's going out in the world to get that flock get uh, its uh, nectar from the flower and bring it back to the, to to, uh, to the hive and and store it because that's his food that's what it feeds the babies that's his investment and he was saying that when we go out into business that if we could watch and study the bee and be more like the bee the bee doesn't just go out to the flower to get the nectar it also picks up pollen on the hairs on his legs and it and it shared it, it leaves something with that flower. Yeah. And it leaves something that is going to benefit that flower so that it can pr produce and multiply. It doesn't just seek to feed itself and gain uh, from itself. So um, and, the, and the bees are uh, just one example of um, many of the things in nature that teach us and one of the best teachers is nature and your environment and reading the science that Allah that's put before you. And if you become, if you're a conscious Muslim, like I recognize in uh, the sincerity and the truth and the strength that I see in, some, in these youth that spoke tonight, yes. that they are conscious Muslims and that they, they've evolved uh, even further in their spiritual strength than uh, we had in the early days when I was at the Claire Muhammad School. And, uh, and I can see that, we're, that we have some real uh, promising uh, leadership in, in these youth. And, and that's going to be the key to our salvation as African-American people. Uh, 
I don't know if you know or not, but African American people, uh, we, if you look at the life of, um, of uh, living creatures uh, or communities or societies, that most communities and societies uh, support the life, have uh, support the life of their community through their own resources or, or whatever. And some uh, larger or more powerful communities uh, actually herd, like we do, we herd cattle and animals and sheep or whatever to feed the life of our children and uh, to support the life, to support our own mortal lives. And, and the, you know, what's in this uh, material world is a reflection and, or a message to what is hidden beneath in the spiritual world. And if we can uh, look at us as a people, that one of our greatest, uh, uh, greatest setbacks is the fact that we're not providing the culture to our, to our, our community. We're getting our culture, which is the food and the inspiration for education, for business. It allows you to express yourself, to have confidence, self-assurance, and all of this. If we're getting it from uh, popular culture, then basically we're like the cattle that's being herded to feed and nurture, but it's not feeding and nurturing our communities. It's feeding and nurturing those people that wrote the music, that designed the culture, wrote the clothing, that's giving you the inspiration. It's in times of when we're relaxed and we uh, think we're just listening to a, a nice melody or a nice little tune that we like to hear or whatever, but then there's a message and an underlying message in the background saying buy this product or this looks nice or that looks nice. That's why it's so hard to communicate with our youth. But um, with this, where this community is and it's shining example of many communities that stayed with the spirit of Honorable Elijah Muhammad and that recognized the spirit of Honorable Elijah Muhammad and those pioneers in the early days has not left the path or the direction that is following, blazing a, a firm path through Imam Muhammad's entire leadership, his life, same spirit, same desire, same aspirations that uh, they had in those early days, uh, they continue. And Allah blesses uh, uh, good, you know, the righteousness and, and good and steadfastness. And this community is a strong example of that. And you can see it reflected that they've held on to their culture and their children are proud to be a part and to express themselves in ways of leadership. Whereas a lot of children, you'll see them coming from schools, educated, and all they have to do is see somebody with a little bit lighter skin than them or somebody that may speak more articulate than them, and they they kind of step back. That's right. You know, they, we, you know, we, you know we, we lower our head, we, we forget. I had an um, imam um, tell me, he said that he was a... Uh, Kung Fu artist, and he said a man stepped up to him, and he, and he 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 trained to think, to react, and not think. He had insulted, or did something. I, I can't. I, I know Imam Ajin. He, he gonna get me for messing this story up. But he said he went to throw one of his death blows at him, and he said something happened when he threw it. He barely tapped the person. He said because the person was white, and he was wondering all of his Nation of Islam teaching. He called a white man W A. So, but something deep down inside of him. Uh, this man was disrespecting uh, some Muslims or something he did or uh, made him uh, react in, a, in an aggressive way. And But something inside of him checked it. You see? Uh, and another example is, uh, I'd like to tell this story about Muhammad Ali. Uh, we need our own culture so we can have our own heroes. Muhammad That's Ali right. is still an excellent hero. And we should read the signs Allah left for us in Muhammad Ali. Everything that has happened in our experience is a sign from Almighty God, Allah, for us to learn and to teach and educate our children. Uh, Muhammad Ali, he was so successful, I, I believe, because of his strong faith and his belief. Because uh, I study what my father teaches, and he says as a human being, us being spiritual creatures and that we can transcend the physical that our mind right now, if I focus, I can focus on the, uh, the moon or the, some stars in the sky, and although I've never been there, never seen it, my mind can leave, and I can consciously not, and lose awareness 